All right, welcome back in, everyone. We are going to test the contraband storage on the ship for contraband mech components. So I only have one item, but we're going to test it and see what happens. So first off, the ship, you can see it has zero shielded capacity. I have just the conduction grid and the comm spike. I do not even have a multi-freak on this. And we're going to go inside. We're going to place the box. We're going to go outside and we're going to look to see if the box is counted. That's one of the things we'll test. Does the game understand that you have a contraband box in your oh, ship? So, let's go into this. Alright. Believe it. Oh. Buttons, buttons, contraband sash. Alright, so... Let's just stick her right here on the cockpit deck. That looks happy. All right. So we have a contraband cache. I am not going to put it in the contraband cache because I need to do a series of test videos to see, uh, to set up a baseline. With it in ship, we're going to go to cargo hold. Go back to my inventory. Go back to miscellaneous. We're going to put this in the ship. So, now ecliptic bayonet, miscellaneous. I don't know what the hell I'm thinking. All right, so you can see it is in the ship at the moment. So, by all rights, I should get stopped every single time. Also, another thing to my skills, uh, it is social deception. I have removed, I had one of four, so I have removed it at this time where it says enemy contraband scans are 10% less effective. I have no bonus of any kind to reducing my chance. It is in the ship cargo hold, and let's go find out first if the ship itself counts the contraband storage box as secured storage. I don't know that it would, but let's find out. No, so I, it still says zero shielded capacity. So I should, in theory, get caught every single time, 100%, I should never be able to pass it. All right, so now we're gonna start doing our testing. This is for a baseline. We are gonna just go to the worst possible place you can go to if you uh, have contraband on you. Set course. Chance to evade zero percent. Have you ever tried Aurora? All right, so now we got number two. Just for giggles, let's go to a different system. Um, Cheyenne, that'd be a good one. They're definitely not going to be happy if I show up with contraband. Chance to evade, zero percent. I'm guessing they're going to catch it. <laughs> okay. Alright, so now that we have set up a baseline that the systems consider this to be zero percent, which it would because I have nothing on it, no skills, and it's just in the ship's cargo hold. Now let's put it in the ship's contraband hold. Mech components, store. All right, so if I look at this, mech components are in the contraband cache. Zero percent. So the box itself does not give you any chance. <laughs> what? What? Why? Why do you have that stuff? <laughs> Because I'm a pirate. All right, now we are at the key because I happen to be friendly with these guys at the moment, and uh, we need to uh, we need to put a multi freak on here to give us some chance to evade. Find a nice happy spot. That looks like a good happy spot. Multi freak. All right. So now we have a multi-freak on here, 
50% chance to reduce uh, or to evade them, which isn't uh, fantastic, but it's better than what we had before. All right, Cheyenne, let's take a meander down along the road. Let's see if you guys like me stopping by with some dirty illicit material in my cargo hold. So it should say 50% chance when we get there now. If it's working correctly. 0% chance. Contraband storage is bullshit. It's a lie. Let's try one, just try one more time. Just to make sure. So for those that are unaware, you can place multiple... Uh, but not of the same type on your ship and it will boost you up. It'll still cap you at 90%. Oh, yeah, nothing like chink. Alright. Let's go here, and let's go right there. Let's put a single freak there. So that will add 10% more. And let's go here. And let's put a dual freak. So there's 30, there's 40%, that's 90%, assuming it's calculating that correctly. That should cap us right there to the maximum we can possibly get. And we will do a test, see if it says zero, then we'll come back and I will actually put the proper amount or the proper uh, storage on there to see if it is correct that the contraband storage box that we place in the decorate mode is not working. Yeah. It Maybe it never was planned to work, that it was always just an RP addition, you know, role playing kind of thing. I don't know. We'll find out. All right, Alpha Centauri. I should have 90% chance to evade at this point. Let's see what happens. 0% chance. All right, so now let us actually go in here and we're going to add a storage box that has it. Cargo. Shielded. Um, I don't like that one. Shielded. Boom. So now. We have a literal shielded cargo. We are going to try again and see what our percentage is. Hopefully this time it works. In theory, I should now have 90%, unless it doesn't like that I left it in the contraband storage box. So that's also a good test. Does it need to be outside of that? 0% chance, that's interesting. It doesn't just not work. It, like, doesn't work on an epic level of d doesn't work. Okay. We're gonna transfer. Oh, no, you I can only take. That's fine. Take it. Alright, fine. And we'll put it in the ship's cargo hold. Store. Alright. Let's make sure it's there. It's there, okay. I'm going to go as far as actually remove that thing from my presence because it bothers me. Go away, box who doesn't work. Alright, let's try again. This time, we have no contraband box. We have the proper shielded cargo. We have four different frequency jammers. Sorry, three different frequency jammers, which gives us 90% in theory, close enough at least. And let's see what we have now. 90%, and there it is. So the box is garbage. It's just another color box for you to put stuff in that says contraband, but it's bullshit, it's a lie, it doesn't mean anything. And I'm disappointed in Bethesda for not even trying. Thanks for watching, everyone.